Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome back to Proimere. Previously, we met a girl, and we didn't get along at all. Let's head back home for now. Place is pretty dark all of a sudden. Could turn on some lights? A decorative mirror hangs limply on darkened walls. The light coming from the dimly lit candles casted an internal ethereal glow. I really do hate mirrors. Check your reflection? Sure. I'd rather not. Maybe we were normal when we got turned to a vampire. It's hard for me to determine what order this is. A discarded book. It appears to be worn out with age. This was actually a pretty decent novel. Pixel hunting. A stool. It's coated in a thick layer of dust. Whoops. Skip for that. Open the dresser. Upon opening the dresser, an old battered doll can be seen lurking beneath a few ill-placed objects. Another doll? A crudely stitched grin is plastered into the doll's pale face, while its eyes leer languidly at nothing. Gently placing both dolls next to each other, Noel gingerly picked up his beloved journal from the wide array of novels and similar facsimiles. Receive journal. I now have a book. Which is why I'm going to save the game. Leave? Sure. I suppose I took care of everything now. Well, that's it, I guess. There's a knock. Who? Really, they're, they're pretty annoying. Who? Hold door shut. I did save. No. Uh oh. Turn around. Yes. This is gonna be the death of me. Fading out. Upon turning around, a peculiar bad ragdoll could be seen haphazardly perched upon the rose hued vanity. Its vacant button eyes appear to be staring nonchalantly back at Noel. Seemingly unconcerned. Hello. Again. What are you doing out here? I'm pretty sure Grandmother wouldn't want you outside right now. The antiquated doll appears to turn away in response. Sorry, but I presume you're not going to leave anytime soon. The auburn-haired doll still turned away from Noel. Lavargically shook its head in succession to his question. Fine. It's alright. Well, well, we actually can still leave. Still interesting. You want to play a game. Perking up the archaic doll once again nodded its head and synced to the boy's inquiry. I wonder if the dolls wouldn't murder me before. Hmm. I suggest we play a game of cards. But I'm not entirely sure if Grandma Ruben has a deck to spare. Singing is out of the question. Along with catch. I could do without having another broken vase to attend to. Well, hide and seek it is. I'll be it again. Since you cheated last time. You in here? Open the dresser, because we heard voices. No, couldn't open it. I am clung glancing at the strange shadow mirror. Timer is running. Faint flickering movements appear at the corner of your eye. Reach for the mirror? Yes. Found doll. How many times do I have to say you can't cheat? The arcane doll impulsively stomped its foot in defiance of the accusations brought against it. All I did was go to the mirror realm. That's not cheating. If Yu-Gi-Oh can get here, then you can get here. It's like, no doll, that's cheating. 
Sorry, we can't play another round. I'm busy. A doll slumped in defeat, with its stitched limbs resting over its salmon-colored button eyes. I really am sorry. We... could play again sometime. But, I still need to put you away. Open the dresser. There you go. Why does Grandmother keep so many dolls, especially ones that are alive? Upon glancing at the elaborate dolls, Noelle spawned a small golden object tucked away behind them. Received dagger. That's gonna be useful. So this is where it went. I've been looking everywhere. I thought I lost it. Please don't give me that look. I know you're the one that hit it. That won't be necessary. So now we have a dagger. It's very dear to your heart. Also very close to it, quite literally. Two paper scraps. We're a little weak in paper scraps. So I'm gonna pixel hunt a little bit, see if we spot it. Any more? No. Seems to be done for the night. I just want to stay in my room for eternity. Nor do I ever want to deal with her again. Well, perhaps I should put my journal away. I really don't feel up to lugging it around. I really do need to sort out these books one day. Oh, but it seems as if the first shelf is already full. What a shame. Which shelf? Second. There's barely enough room in this shelf for such a hefty journal. Too bad. Third shelf. The cop- that cobweb's still there. I'd rather not. Fourth shelf. This shelf is a bit tall, unfortunately. And I'm not allowed to climb on bookshelves anymore. Also, this shelf is reserved solely for boring books. Like your life in that journal. It's gonna be the last one, really. Fifth. Oh, this shelf should do. However, it's much too high for me to reach. Mmm, made the chair. Throw your journal at the vanity mirror, sure. How preposterous. Why would I do that to a perfectly good book? Let me move this footstool can help me. An unadorned doll footstool. Take chair. It's much too short. It won't be of any use to me. Do you need an actual ladder? So let's leave. And let's look for a ladder. Hey, any of you dolls seen any ladders? Check its contents on the dresser. Top row. There should be something of use here. Well, I should probably take one of these objects. A grappling hook. No. We're just gonna... Batman hook shot. To the, the top of the, the thing over there. A little excessive. Elephant flushy! But no. Bottom row. Old quills, a rope ladder, and a jaunty hat. Oh man, that jaunty hat's really tempting. Well, this certainly looks useful. Quite a rope ladder. Use the rope ladder. I well, place the journal into the topmost shelf. A cream-colored letter filtered towards the ground, flittered. Oh, this is. Well, never mind that. I'll just keep it with me for now. Another scrap piece. Received a letter. Hmm. 
An old crumpled letter. Sleep, yes. Oh great, what is it now? I'll never be able to get peace and quiet here. Well, I. I better check on what's going on this time. Poke around. That's weird. What is that? Upon approaching the window, a hunched figure could be seen precariously gliding about the foot ground, front grounds. Again. I should just get this over with. Vampire's gonna burst through the window. Let's see. Can the old journal help me? This book is useless. We got a Bible, maybe a cross. Go back. Rosemary! It... left? Right behind you. Not here either. At least we have the dagger. Pass through here? Sure. I've never been past here, but I still need to take care of this. Wow, we just... we just love the pumpkin vines. Decrepit fountain. Go here? No. Keep going then, yeah. Hey, an axe. What? Expect me to make an axe pun? What do you take me for? Water? In the middle of nowhere? This stage is full of surprises. Besides, I'm not exactly the right person. An old decrepit axe is deeply buried into the tree stump. How odd. Found paper scrap number five. Ooh, I missed some. Where are all these coming from? Unless they're out of order purposely, I missed some. Dolls start to appear one by one. Hanging dolls of all different shades of red. The maids have been doing their best at keeping me away, but... I still find myself wandering off into the doll room. If it weren't for all that red, they'd be pretty. Very pretty indeed. I wonder if I'll ever have such a serene face as them. The house was overrun with dolls. Before I could even comprehend what was happening, I was the only one left in a house of dolls. How lovely. How quaint. Everything is just as I've imagined. I hope I never wake up. I wish I had more books. I already read every book in the house. Here we go, paper scrap number triple. I was using to find number four. Don't look so glum, boy. Cheer up! Easy for you to say. Maybe if you didn't look so angry, they wouldn't have sent you back here. Or maybe this proves how incompetent you all are. I wouldn't blame them. I mean, who in their right mind would adopt a red-eyed freak? Oh, great. That's, that's so nice of you. If you didn't know any better, I'd say you were, you were responsible for those string of murders. You must have just hired him. I wonder what happened to the previous one. From what I've heard, I don't even get why you seem to be dumped back at our facility. 
It's not like you'd fit in with us normal people. Pathetic. What was that? Try speaking up, kid. I said... Pathetic. I've always wanted to know what being garbage felt like, so please do tell. Alright, I recall reading about paranormal lore from various cultures the other day. Now let me see. Banshee? No. The Black Dog? Regardably not. Delahan, a headless fairy? Also best girl in a certain anime. That would explain the large qual quantities of blood oozing from our flower beds, but probably not. Still, if it's a harboring or death, does that mean... I can kill it? No, I suppose not. Well, regardless, I should make sure it doesn't do any more damage. And paper scrap number four. Alright, now we're all caught up in paper scraps. Why? Didn't they believe me? If only I was someone else, then... Then maybe I wouldn't always end up alone. I'm trying to keep them safe, and yet... It's like what those people said my w way back then. I shouldn't be here. And because of me, they're gone. I really am like those fairy tale creatures in storybooks. I'm like those monsters in that journal. Grandmother's journal is what they said. I wonder what she was like. Judging from those stories she left, she must have been just like me. I can still change. I may not bring them back, but at least I'll never hurt anyone ever again. If I follow these instructions, I can make sure I never existed. That no one will ever have heard my name. Whatever, not so much a vampire, but like... Alucard, basically. We hunt vampires. The night will always fear us. Not saying we're a vampire, if you know what that means, but you kind of like get the gist of the uh, motivation. Who are you? Are you the girl from earlier? It's been a while since I've seen a human corpse up close. Though this is peculiar. As far as I know, no one goes into the woods. Well, mine is myself, of course. And that strange girl from earlier. Well, I should probably cut him down. There's no use in leaving him all the way out here. So going back to the axe. And the whole exactly pun. This is technically, I'm not making a pun here, I'm just saying. While also making a pun again, the same one. This is probably exactly what we need. It's just unfortunate of the timing that this has to happen and I have to use this exact word at this exact time. Take the axe. Received axe. Choose. Wow. We have options. Rope ladder. Even after I cut this, we we'll somehow hook it to one of those branches. I just fall off. This seems like a rather haphazard plan. Axe? The axe handle broke off. It... left? I call this plan a success. That was odd. I already took this. What is it doing back here? Received axe. Oh god. Oh, it's a cursed axe. Oh, I've just been so calibered. Got a dagger? So ignore the cursed axe. 
No go. Now what? Yo, I'm not gonna take the cursed axe. We know what happens if I do. Are you implying I have to take the cursed axe and die? Is this a bad end route? There's a fourth hidden option. You tricky bastards. I would not rather damage a tree or body any further. I'll just climb it. It's slightly elevated, but that shouldn't be a problem. Maybe it was a tree that killed me. It's the old hang tree. Take the axe? I threw this into the lake. What is it doing back here? No. Leave, yes. Well, I accomplished nothing. At least I don't have to tend to broken bones this time. Still, I can't help but feel as if something's off. Hoo wee. That was a dead end lock for a second there. I look for scraps. So if you don't run multiple saves in this game and you save after you've cut that body down with the axe. You're essentially stuck. Like, you gotta restart the whole game. That's so why... You always prepare. Multiple saves. Every game you play in existence. Okay, let's go to bed. I don't feel like sleeping. Wander the house? Perhaps it would help if I were to wander the house. Inside the manor. Oh boy, there's a lot of options. Oh no. Check the veranda. That solid iron railing is forever melted in place. However, it is possible to climb past it. Sure. Gravestones. That's new. I don't think I'm home anymore. Jump? Sure. What's the worst that can happen? I do wonder how that got there. I've been here plenty of times, but this is definitely a first. I'm absolutely certain there's no cemetery anywhere near here. Yes. This... must be a dream. Maybe I've been asleep this whole time. Well, so far it's not a bad end. Whether or not it's a dead end, we'll see. Oh, this is like how like the beginning. I really must be dead or dreaming. Oh, look at who finally decided to drop in. What am I, you say? Aren't you the girl from earlier? Why, I'm nothing more than a dear old friend, of course. And pardon my repetition, but am I dreaming? I do admit this isn't the first time I've talked with a faceless girl, however, Hmm, what a life you've been leading. I will take that as an affirmation. So, since I haven't had a dream this in a while, what do you suppose I should do? That, you know, doesn't involve cursed axes or bad ends or ghosts or anything like that. It's up to you. Whatever you say is the law here, so you saying it is a dream? Dream, nightmare, life, death, no matter. I'm here to follow your wishes. Essentially, I'm here to provide guidance. Really? Let's just say I have a job to finish. And I can't do that without your help. Oh, well, in that case, no. Absolutely not. As I recall, whatever I say is the law. I'd rather not expend all that effort on such a useless task. I mean, he's got you on that one. Like... See why you don't talk too much, spirit, ghost, dream thing? Dig your own hole. 
Oh, you obstinate little... You need my help. And since this is my dream, I find that to be quite absurd. Unbelievable. I have never been anyone this infuriating lazy. <laughs> you don't even need to know in the beginning. Can you budge at least a smidge? If you explain what you are exactly, miss, I'd be glad to help you. Terrible. Is that all? I could simply wake up on my own, but I must admit my curiosity's peaked. Fine, I'll tell you, but only if you figure out my name. Oh no, I'm bad at remembering names. Too bad the NPC already knew it. Miss Annabelle? Great, wait, what? Miss Annabelle. As far as I know, that is your name, correct? Well, yes, but... What gave it away? Was I that obvious? Yes. Now that we've got the obvious out of the way, can I wake up? You also had a silhouette that looked like her, but I didn't actually remember your name, he did. No! Don't you want to explore your dream? And what could be more exciting than that? Dying. Video games? No, not video games. Maybe anime? Nah. Nah, Noelle's got this beat. You know what? I had enough of your sass. Actually, how did you do that? You look rather cool as a silhouette. Oh, it's just called dramatic flair. Anyone who's important can do it. Magic. Moving on, why don't you do some exploring? I prefer not to. I've done enough exploring here. Now you're just padding out the gameplay. Dream ghost person. Look, we could do it your way, but I really do need your help. Oh, now you need my help. In my dream. I find that hard to believe, miss. Well, it's true. And besides, we're friends. No. Does that mean something to you? A friend. Who snuck into my own dream. Well, it sounds bad when you put it in that way. But I mean absolutely no harm. That's what they all say. It might not mean much to you, but trust me when I say I have your best intentions at heart. Think of it this way. Doesn't a graveyard adventure sound fun? No. What if I say it will benefit you in the long run? No. Help me or I'll haunt you for all now and eternity. I'll just get the Ghostbusters. I have more than enough time. Deal. Great. It's nice to see we've finally come to an agreement. So, what do I do now? Oh, nothing much. Why don't you just walk around and talk to people? This should be easy enough for you to handle. Interact with the ghosts of your past. Make amends. And those cliches. Atone, apologize, reconcile, please. And how will this help me? No matter how I see it, you're beyond salvation. But doing all this should give some sense of normality to this fun little adventure of yours. If what you're saying is true, why would you go through all this effort? Like I said, I merely want to help my dear friend. I find that hard to believe. You can choose whether not to believe me, but hear this. You're no good to me dead. I'm not very good to anyone alive, either. I mean, look how nihilist I am. I'm just gonna drag you down. Bring you to my level, and then I'm gonna go listen to Linkin Park CDs. Oh, I know, <laughs> but I have to... I have sworn to help you. It wouldn't do us any good if I were to break my promise. Damn. No Lincoln Park CDs tonight. So I think we've talked enough. If you need any help, don't ask me for it. Understand? Yes. Oh, and before I leave... Catch. Receive a skull. Thanks. Also, here's some parting advice. Don't trust everyone you see here. Well, don't trust anyone except me, of course. And not everything you find here will be useful. Anyway, catch you later. Okay.